Listener, Philadelphia, D.C., Toronto, Detroit, Kansas City, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas. Am I saying enough cities? Minneapolis, that's about sold out. Atlanta, about sold out. Wow, incredible. Come see me. It's so fun. Um, I've been looking at the reviews on Ticketmaster. They're really, really good. You're going to have a good time. Oh, and patreon.com slash WHGS. Don't need as little as a dollar to keep to keep us. Co- Come on, guys. We need this. We need the Patreon is our lifeblood. We've got four bonus episodes up there every month. It pays for everybody, for Alex, for Maddie, for me, for the studio, you know, all our social media needs and our equipment and all that. Patreon.com slash WHGS. And then today, oh my God, sometimes there's just an, uh, an episode where the story is so good, it stands alone and it kind of makes it into that gay sex hall of fame. Paris Sachet is one of the funniest comedians I know. And on this episode, we get into some pee stuff. And it is very, very funny. I love Paris. She really takes no prisoners. And she, she's just so, she's just really herself and no filter. It's just a phenomenal episode. I think you, I think you guys are going to love it. Okay, listeners. Oh, look at my little podcast. If you're on the YouTube, Fulton says hi. Listener, this episode is brought to you by Helix. You know I love my Helix mattress. I've been sleeping on it for a few years now. What a pleasure to come home off the road and lay down and get the best night of sleep ever. And getting a mattress, that's stressful, okay? But you don't have to stress with Helix. They offer a 100-night trial and a 10- to 15-year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. And right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gay sex. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Bottom, guess what's on my bottom? A pair of me undies. Woo, boy! Are these breathable and comfy? I absolutely love my Me Undies underwear. It's got fabric that's light and breathable to help you regulate your body temperature so that you stay cool and comfy and fresh. And if you're not happy with your Me Undies, it's on Me Undies. To get 25% off your first order plus free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash gay. That's MeUndies.com slash gay for 25% off plus free shipping. Me Undies, comfort from the outside in. The pee thing is always interesting. I've never been peed on, but um, a woman did beg me to pee in like a degrading way. Yeah, that's it. Feels degrading. Period. I was taught that you're supposed to pee in the toilet on the side of the road. <laughs> so I had to drink water for like three days because you want you want the cleanest piss you can get. Because I'm going to have Hennessy the day of, so I need to mix it. That is clean. <laughs> She's drinking it and shaking her and it's swallowing. Just, yes, oh. and I was just like, "You're not even my girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maddie, <laughs> ask the people. What does your lipstick look okay? Oh, the people at home? Is my lipstick okay? Let me know once it's already too late. Yeah, comment if I look fucked up, I guess. Well, the thing that the thing that I said to you, and this is what I always say to my girlfriend, it, are you dating anyone? No. I mean, I'm yeah, dating, yeah. Yes. Sorry, I'm just looking dating. at the do you mind keeping yes. it up there? Yes, dating, yes. Okay. Casually. Casually. There we go. <laughs> You nailed it. Plead the fit on Absolutely. the question. <laughs> <laughs> Who has that joke about, is it Mitch Hedberg has that joke about like, I don't have a girlfriend. I just know a girl who'd be really upset if she heard me say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> it sounds like Mitch Hedberg. It's so funny. But my girlfriend, when she ever, when she asked me questions like what Maddie just asked. Oh, I mm-hmm. asked Ashley before we started, did my lipstick look good? I think yes, but I'm also not the person qualified. <laughs> Well, yeah, because right? I could have dog shit smeared on my face and I could ask like like a guy, like, does my lipstick look good? And they'd be like, yeah, I'd still fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that is That's true. It's like, that wasn't the question. <laughs> right, exactly. And I am in that way, the dog shit fucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a great laugh. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, I don't know. It's not important to me. Do you ever do your makeup? No, never. 
N- literally do never. Do you do? Will you do like a full face? Yeah, you've got lip stuff on. Yeah, I would do a full nice. face. Yeah, thank you. Is it? Does it feel weird? Do you consider yourself masculine? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? A girl just told me that I'm a femme daddy, and I was like, I like that. Whoa! Yeah, I, like I can see. Rocks. I can see that for yeah. you. Um. Yeah, because you definitely have a masculine energy, but like your nails, your right. jewelry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's just like a certain type of person that straddles both worlds. Mm-hmm. And to me, makeup is like, I, that's like part of, some of it is like how you were raised a little bit. Mm. Not raised, but like how you, like I never had a femme era as a young lady. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. By the way, we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Paris, Sachet, comedian, you're about to go on tour. Yes. You're so fucking funny. Thank you. You have a clip out right now. I should have done this earlier, but you have a clip out right now. We've been trying to get you on the pod kind of like from the very beginning. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. But you're based in DC. So yes. it's like been kind of like a little bit hard to get you on, but I'm really glad that you're here. And Frankie, Thank French, you. Frankie French is from DC, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's done the pod a few times and I would love for them to come back. Okay. Um, but uh, what am I saying? Oh, and you're about to go on tour, but you have this clip that oh. I think was the reason that I figured out that you were in New York, but your A cup. Oh, the honor roll titties. The honor roll titties yeah, is I, uh, so, f- have you seen this joke? No, thank I, you. I can either let you do it or I can summarize it. Sometimes it's weird to do your own. I like women with honor roll titties. I don't like big breast women. <laughs> I think that the, the bigger the breast, I think the dumber the titty, and I'm just like really a into D, smart like titties. A D cup, oh my a God, cup. a D, like you gotta do, that's so funny. It's I a have really my great... own titties. So it's like, I don't need two <laughs> pair of titties. I'm not into titties. I, just give me small, smart titties. A's, B's. A low grade C is good. <laughs> nothing, higher. <laughs> uh, nothing higher than a low grade C. That's so funny. Yeah, it's a great, <laughs> was, did it go viral? It did. Yeah, it did. It did on TikTok. Nice. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure people with smaller boobies appreciate that. People with small boobies like to feel appreciated. It's nice to hear. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> you smug <laughs> piece of shit. What? You're 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 sitting I'm stuttering now because I'm about to refer to your tits. Please do. But you're <laughs> sitting over there very smug. You know you have nice boobies. Oh, thank you. But they're not big. They're like maybe a C. No. Yeah. I think what? they're just nice. She just take care of them. <laughs> you can because they sit up like they healthy titties. So it's like it could be a low C, but a good healthy C. Wait, <laughs> expand. How does one take care of their tits? Because I, you do whisper nice things like a plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's the vibrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have to put on some nice music. <laughs> no, I think I'm not the bit. My girlfriend loves my boobs, and I've heard nice things. <laughs> But like, <laughs> wait, can I ask what size? <laughs> I'm like a BC depending on. We have the same size tits. That's why I'm looking over at you being like, this doesn't, this doesn't make any sense. That's so, well, cause this shirt kind of like pushes together right, a little it grips, bit. grips, grabs and holds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, My friend told me I have chameleon my... tits. Cause I was like, I can be really flat if I want to, or I can really like mm. zhuzh it up. When, but they're right in the, I, well, I've said this on the podcast before, but I got lucky that. My boobs are about the same size as the percentage of woman that I feel like. <laughs> I don't you know what I mean? I don't think you've said that. <laughs> Am I really? I don't think so. But I'm like, I think I would feel dysphoric if I had like really big boot because I'd be like, I don't feel this like femme uh, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But I can kind of mm. like make it look flat chested or I can make it whatever. Yeah. And I kind of like that. I don't, I don't know. I was having, sorry. No, no, no. no, no you go. Maddie, just go. Us having the same size boobs is a revelation that I think needs to be explored further. Well, when you said that, <laughs> my first instinct was to grab my own boob and then to grab your boob. You are fully to, allowed to do that. I will not do that. You are fully allowed to do that. <laughs> Ashley, do you want a thumbnail or not? I think you should do it. They You're, might be the same boob. You might. <laughs> I feel like she has them sitting up. That's was The thing is that mine... Oh, are you being serious, man? I'm so serious. You can totally do I that. Think, I think it should happen. Consent granted. Consent granted. <laughs> oh, I just answer like a robot. Consent granted. Yeah. <laughs> a glimpse into our dark future. Sorry, let me scan your eye. Yeah. <laughs> Face ID to fuck somebody. <laughs> Gu- guide it into my hand. So it's coming. Oh, I do that so much more intimate. Guide it into... Oh, no, yours are bigger than mine, Maddie. 
Or am, am I? That was the least. I have to say, <laughs> I'm, that was a mammogram. That was like so not sexual. <laughs> Truly, I felt more turned on <laughs> touching my own boobs. <laughs> You have very full boobies. Thank you so much. Maybe that, So maybe it's like the same size, but she just has more titty meat. I think so. Okay. Huh. I don't know how that's possible, but I have a looser. Uh, do I have to fucking? <laughs> oh my God, really? <laughs> do it. Just do it. Get it over with. No, they're very similar sizes. Woo. <laughs> they are? How are you enjoying the podcast so far? This is hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I think this is a great oh, start. You have nice boobs. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. You also have really nice boobs. Do men do this with dicks, do you think? Hilarious. You know what? I wonder. Well, they measure, but they're probably not. Well, but it's so it's so much harder to calculate like the the size of like a, a parabola sphere than just like, which one's longer? That's true. That's you know true. what I mean? True. Like I they also, can just look at it. I also loved how you referred to women like through the beauty of math, the elegance of numbers and <laughs> systems. It's like the Fibonacci sequence in a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, no, you're not, so you like smaller boobies. Yes. How do you feel about your own being someone that sort of straddles the, that masculine feminine? I, I love my titties. I love them. I love my breasts. I'll wear them out. I'll cover them up. It just depends. I know if I pull them out, it's a lot of attention that comes with it. Mm. Some days I don't want all of them. They the appear to be. They're huge. They're, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a double D. It's a double D, so they're pretty big. Um, and honestly, congratulations. Thank you. God bless. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And again, healthy titties, it's a lot of work. So I have to wash them, lotion them, take care of them. <laughs> okay, I will say, yours seem perkier than mine. The fold under my boobie, mm -hmm. the sweat. No, not so, you. So not no, you. if you have sweat, yeah. I'm carrying around it's, buckets. It, <laughs> it's awful. It's It feels like so embarrassing. I don't know why it's so embarrassing. I'll tell you why it's so embarrassing. Maybe this will be my gay sex story. Wait, hold on. We have to introduce, I'm just, I'm, I'm firing on all cylinders today. But anyway, welcome to the podcast. We're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Paris Sachet. I'm Ashley Gavin. Thank you for being here. What's your website where people can go look at your tour dates? Officialparisachet.com. And your Instagram ha handle? Instagram at Paris Sache, Twitter at Paris Sache, Facebook. You know how to everything. search the, something, you piece of shit. <laughs> Just Google Paris Sache, blah, blah, blah. I'm on tour. Maddie's on tour. I'm hitting the road. Maddie, I'm not even going to roast you today. Because first of all, <laughs> Maddie's a gay virgin. First uh, of all, okay. I'm not a virgin, but I haven't been with a woman yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So as always, Maddie, the hall monitor. But today, Maddie is <laughs> like, I I didn't want to be too much of a mom. But this past week, your clip hit over 13 million views. One of your first clips ever. Thanks. You hit 13 million views. You got 45,000 new followers. It's crazy. This feels like a... Like, uh, <laughs> I've been trying to do like musical theater this whole time, but then I finally made the baseball team and you're like, son, I'm not even going to make fun of you today. <laughs> <laughs> you did the thing I've well, been trying to get you to do for years. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for acknowledging it. And as soon as you did, I started, I didn't want to interfere too much because I wanted to A, let you have your moment, B, show you that I was proud of you. But also, I wanted to help you. You gave me such good advice. So I was, I've been texting you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Congrats. So yeah. Because I'm like, you're like Clip Central, and I'm like so. Clip Central. Clip Central. <laughs> I took Comedy Central out of, out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Only when I became Clip Central did Comedy Central even think about having me on. Hilarious. You've done one of those Comedy Central sets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Long before I did. Picky I, with my gay. That's when the picky with my gay joke went viral. Which, which is which is that? Uh, talking about that I wouldn't date any woman. I'm picky with my gay. Oh Only my god, beautiful I, women. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I love that bit. I think that was Thank the first you. one I ever saw. You. It's so funny. Thank you. Oh That's my god, the one, it went viral during the pandemic, so it was like perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's everything was at down. home. Yeah, right. I have to watch that one. I don't. I don't know that one. But, or maybe I do, and I've just like forgotten it. It's but, so good. <laughs> no offense, right? <laughs> it was so rude. Or maybe I've seen it, but it's, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but congrats, man. Thanks. I'm really happy for you. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to be a part of the Maddie Wiener 
fan universe now. Oh, thanks. It, I was joking with a friend though that I was like, it's so funny that the whole clip is me being like, I'm kind of fat. And then 13 million people were like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 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 well, I, nothing has resonated <laughs> with anyone more than me saying that I am fat. <laughs> and listen, I've grabbed some of that fat, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> she is. <laughs> and and boy, did I feel nothing from it. <laughs> um, but I will say, it's very to the people who are anyone working on something. I said this to you outside. You hit a cross section of two things that always make things go viral. Uh, a niche of people who are like, oh my God, that's relatable. That's me. And then the second thing is you made people argue. Stupid people misinterpreted the clip. Oh my God. And other people tried to jump on and argue with them. An old Swedish lady, like an old, like 70 year old Swedish lady just commented, this is not funny. She is tragic. Oh. Like, <laughs> and I was like, that is so funny. Like. Your existence is tragic. You're like, here's a joke I wrote. And they're like, your existence is cosmically <laughs> tragic. Um, That's like so brutal. Maddie, I think I understand that more than anybody on the planet. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Re I recently was canceled. I'm not sure. If oh, you're really? Aware. Oh, you're the only person who doesn't know. Why? why what, what did you say? We're going to move on. Okay. <laughs> I'll do my research later. Okay. <laughs> but Maddie, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, yeah, very proud Thanks. of you. Oh, we're well, doing intros. Come see me on the road. Yes. I'm on Instagram at Maddie T. Wiener. And I have a mailing list you can sign up for. And I have a podcast called Phones in the Bag. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I was going to say when you work on something and you work on it every day, sometimes it's luck to realize, not luck in how quality your work is or how funny you are. That's all skill. But sometimes it's luck. We don't know what thing is going to go viral. Yeah. That's I true. almost didn't post it. Cause I was like, this clip's kind of like whatever. And then that it's like so random. I don't know. Have you found that where it's like the stuff that resonates with people is sometimes you're like, Oh, I didn't think that would be the one, but okay. yeah, I don't think that you can pick. I feel like you don't know because the ones you don't think will go crazy and you'd be like that. Mm, well, then yeah. I should post all of this because I didn't think that was that important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and for me, it, people really like see me like to see me give it to hecklers. They mm. love to see the and, and it has that line of, oh, she's being mean. Mm. Oh, wh why would she talk to this person this way? And that's what ends up making it go viral is that both the authenticity of like an angry woman, like being confident or whatever. And then also the, bah, 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 bah. and so yeah, it's just very interesting and cyclical how the whole mm. thing works. Listener, are you listening to our Patreon exclusive, You're Having Gay Sex? Well, here's a sneak peek of what you missed last week. I don't know, maybe you've had an experience like this, Sam. Uh, because it involves uh, sex with a man. But <laughs> we go back to his place and have some decent sex, except for when he stood up on his bed to come. <laughs> I have some thoughts on this. I like when my legs are straight. Maybe that's what he's doing. But no, 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 no. Do not defend this psychopath because he said stood up Listener. on the bed. <laughs> on the yeah, bed. I agree. It's kind of not kinda on nuts. the floor. <laughs> there are four bonus episodes a month of this series. You're having gay sex on our Patreon at the ten dollar tier, and then two at the five dollar tier. Patreon.com slash whgs. Listener, one of the best ways to support this podcast is to come see me live, okay? It, it's a really great way to just support the whole team and everything that we do here. So get on my text list or my email list. It's international, both of them. AshleyGavin.com. Go sign up, and I'll literally text you when I'm in your area. So you don't have to hear all these plugs. You can skip right by them. Don't even worry about your city. Just get on one of those two things, and I will let you know, okay? Because there's a lot of cities coming, and I just remaking this announcement over and over again. We all think it's annoying. You do. I do. Get on the text list, you piece of shit. Well, did you have gay sex this week? I did have gay sex this week. Um, I had very, like, like medium sex. When you're like with someone for a while, you know, mm -hmm. like you you have great sex with them. But then this particular day, I, I was having some pain, so I didn't sleep very well. And so the next day we had sex and I was like, I'm gonna need the vibrator. I'm gonna need everything on all cylinders in order to come <laughs> at all. Do you know what I mean? 
There are days where you can just like come. And then there are other days where you're like, I need a jackhammer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need every tool in the arsenal. I'm going to need the handsaw and the the drill bit. the kit. Bring out the kit. It was a bring out the kit day. Um, So it's not really remarkable other than afterwards, I have to say to Jen, my girlfriend, I have to be like, Thanks for being there. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you thank you for accompanying me on this. Oh my god. I want you here on every fucking episode to Thanks laugh at all for my showing jokes. Up. That is hilarious. She did. Sometimes, sometimes, Wait, why? Cuz you were pretty much going solo and she was like cheering you on? No, she was in there. And I was <laughs> vibrating. Oh yeah, yeah. And but but it was definitely like I had to be in the right mental place so it wasn't like a super connected experience. Like, can I ask you? It was connected for her, like when I was doing mm. her, cause, but for me, I was so tired, my hip hurt. I was just like, I gotta get through. I can't not come, mm. cause I'm gonna be frustrated, you know? Can I ask a really stupid question? No, uh, yeah. This is so, stupid, there's no stupid question. Okay, you're very mask. Mm-hmm. And then when you were telling that story, I was like, in a, you know, no homo, but picturing you coming. And I was like- You touched my tit today. <laughs> Maddie, you grabbed my tit without saying no homo. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel like you come in a femme way? Mm. Like, are you like- What, what is that? Uh, do you think I do that when I come, Maddie? But I'm, are you like, <laughs> uh, like, do you come in a mask way? Like, I, I this watch is blowing football my mind. when I come. When I come, I shout sports stats. <laughs> Oh. But genuinely, when I come, I go. Brady is the goat, and then I, <laughs> and then I come. How do you come masculinely? I don't know. I just pitch, I was like, do I was you like, come the way that your... you described? Do you? Eh, do you do? How do you come? <laughs> I, I've been told that I come. My come is pretty feminine. <laughs> I feel like my come, how I come is more feminine than how I am as a person. I yeah. completely for me too. Completely agree. Completely. Yeah. Are you a screamer? I'm a screamer, but I mean, I'll make noise. I'm a screamer. I'm taking it up. I'm taking it. Mariah <laughs> Carey is here. I'm taking it up. You're hitting the high E7 like, or whatever. Wow, the range. <laughs> so we get this girl in the studio. <laughs> Ariana, who? <laughs> this is a good little trio. Yeah. Whoa, this is fun. I didn't know what to expect because we don't really know each other that well. I know who's going to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you're really funny. So Thank I was you. like, that's all I need. But, um, Oh boy. Like, can you give me the noise that you make? <laughs> no, I cannot. I wouldn't say. <laughs> yeah, you know, it might it might be femur. I'm not grunt grunting. Okay. Okay. So I feel that I have two moans. Okay. I have said this on a podcast episode years ago. So people have probably forgotten during the pandemic, years ago. I feel that I have two moans. Cause when I'm when I'm orgasming from just my clit, I feel that it's more of a yell than a moan. Okay. If it's like really intense, I'll get very loud, and I I apologize to everybody in the community. <laughs> and when I say the community, I don't mean gay people. I mean everyone who lives in the building, <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> and then if I'm having both stimulated, I do think that I like moan a little more, mm. and. That's embarrassing. Like, I I don't know whether that's innate, but I, I don't feel that I'm controlling it. It feels innate. No, yeah, I feel you. If it's both, it's a little more of a, like, it's more of a, like, yeah, I'm not going to do a noise. But I know what you mean. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it's very feminine. But I wouldn't say it's masculine either. But men are, have you slept with men? Yeah, I used to sleep with men. Yeah, back back in the old days, um, thousand yard war stairs. <laughs> right, yeah, long long time ago. Um, no, I think. Damn, I I I know how men come. It's very. I feel like it's very strong, but I feel like it also takes them, breaks them down to their core. Yes, so it's not going to bring out like a feminine scream, but it's definitely going to release that masculinity a little bit. Yeah, when a guy comes inside you, and there's a little like. 
there's a little like whimpery moan sometimes, and it's kind of hot because they're trying to be tough, but then, <laughs> but then they, you know what I mean? They're like, uh, and they're like, eh. and you, know yeah. I mean? you can see that you're like, yeah. oh, I got you, bitch, I got you. <laughs> this is exactly My pussy is. was so good, you weren't a man for a second. <laughs> My pussy turned you gay, yeah, for a moment. God, if that's not exactly what is I that want, what you mean or yeah, you no, about? that's exactly what I meant, like a, a balloon deflating. <laughs> <laughs> Once it gets to that little peak, that little last little bit of air to come out, yeah. Oh, that's I agree. so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> that's a, a balloon deflating. Like he comes and then flies around mm-hmm. the room. That's, like, exactly. <laughs> that's why that's he, gets, he gets out really quickly. He's like, "Oh, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's so I weird. always thought that men were mostly silent. I can't. Or they I let out like a little, <clears throat> like a. I, I can't fuck a guy that's like that. I need some audio. I need you to be having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Indicating that you're having a good time. That's no, always not hot. Even from a, I mean, even if the, all the consent and everything is there, I just mean like the no noise as I'm like, what? I, am, am I milking you? Like, what's happening? <laughs> like, I feel like I'm, like, draining you. Like, I, I like <laughs> when women are loud in bed. It turns me on a lot. I don't... I know in my head somewhere that I'm, like, if I heard this, I'd be so embarrassed for me. Like, I hope the neighbors aren't hearing this. This is not something I want to play back on tape. But in the moment, I'm, like, this is the coolest... It's like, the, it's like, man, this is the coolest. <laughs> you with a backwards hat. Oh, this rocks. I love when girls come. <laughs> okay. So I'm writing a bit right now. <laughs> Wait, also I want to ask the same questions to you too, but do, I didn't do mean you to like, you la- do you like when women are loud? Yeah. When people are loud. Take it up. I want all the noise, especially in the hotel. I'm mm. like in the hotel. I want to make, so much noise, I want people to walk past like, oh, they fucking. You, it's like a badge of honor. Yes. Yeah. I, and at a hotel, it's reasonable because you don't know those people. Yes. And are you going for more femme people generally? All femme women. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's... Yeah, we didn't ask you like pronouns, sexuality, stuff like that. I only date feminine women. Uh, pronouns, I just refer to myself as me. I don't, I don't really need classification, honestly. Uh, but when the women said I was a femme daddy, I'm like, I can get with that because it's masculine, but it's still feminine first. Mm. But when it comes to sex, it's masculine. Do you care if people use they, them for you? Um, I don't really <laughs> care. I won't lie. I don't care. It's like whatever yeah. you feel as though that's what I look like I am or whatever you want to identify me as. But I feel like I've been this person since I was a kid. Yeah. So there was no classification. So it was just a tomboy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I would say I'm still a tomboy. Yeah. For some people, the lack of like lack of trying to I know Maddie's in, in a self discovery search, but I'm kind of starting to lean the same way where I really like being like, yeah, not really a big deal. I've used the word tomboy too. I was such a tomboy as a kid, and now I know I'm a little more femme today. But like, like, yeah, I'm like tomboy actually kind of nails it. Like I feel like, but yeah, same. I'm kind of like she they. I don't really. Care I've always that much. liked that for myself too. Um, but what I was gonna say is I'm writing this bit about how, how I had sex for the first time when I was 15. Mm-hmm. And when you're in the closet, what a torturous thing that you, you, you were saying like, oh, this rocks, you know, like, <laughs> but what a torturous thing that like, I ate pussy when I was 15. Just the greatest thing that had ever happened to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I can't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and so now as an adult, you're like, I'm going to tell everybody. Everyone. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, but I was just thinking like, it's so, it's one thing to like hide your shame because you're ashamed, but when something awesome happened. <laughs> you wanted to brag about right, it. I wanted, I wanted to go up to the guys and be like, yo, I ate her pussy. But like, I couldn't. That's so painful that you can't even share your joy. You can't even like have so joy sad. and love. You can't even objectify a woman. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Yeah, but I think that'll just be, I, I know that wasn't exactly a gay sex story, but we're heading <laughs> up on 30 minutes. So I'll go over to Paris. No better time for a Helix mattress than cuffing 
season, listener. It's getting cold. Who are you going to cuddle up with on your Helix mattress? I know whenever I have a girly over, she's always like, oh my God, this is such a comfy mattress. And I get to turn over and go, oh, little bottom, it's a Helix. I love my Helix. I've been on it for about three years now. It's the best night of sleep I've ever gotten. And don't just take my word for it, all right? Helix has been awarded number one mattress picked by GQ and Wired Magazine. It's even recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving your sleep. And getting a mattress, that's stressful, okay? But you don't have to stress with Helix. They offer a 100-night trial and a 10- to 15-year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash gay sex. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Okay, that was a killer ad read. That was killer. I kill it for Helix because I got that good night of sleep. (laughs) Paris, did you have gay sex this week? Did I have? I did have gay sex, actually. Uh... You don't have to tell that story. It's just okay. a prompt. You can talk about any time, anything. So is this a good sex story? If you want to tell a good for? sex, you could also tell a bad sex story. Sometimes or a funny sex story. Honestly, whatever. sometimes bad sex stories are some of the funniest. Yeah. My girlfriend was on the pod and she talked about a woman that peed on her. That's crazy. Not in a fun um, way. Oh, Krista yeah. Stefano came on. I talked about when I blew a guy and cum came out my nose. Really? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, <laughs> the stakes are high. Um, the pee thing is always interesting. I've never been peed on. But, um, a woman did beg me to pee. And after a couple of months, I gave in. Because I'm just like, why do you want begged it? Begged so- you she to beg. pee. Like, she wanted it. Like, it was a thing. Like, she kept it. I'm like, Like, on her face? Or, like, in, like, a degrading way? Yeah, that's It feels degrading, period. I was taught that you're supposed to pee in the toilet on the side of the road. <laughs> so I was just like, to pee on a person is like, ah, I don't think I'm that disrespectful. But she just kept asking. I know. Sometimes with degradation stuff, I'm like, well, I just really like you. Right. (laughs) I like you so much. I don't want to pee on you. Yeah, right. I can't think of anything ruder, really. But the the weird thing about it is that they want it. Mm. Yes. I believe in giving people what they want. I feel like everybody has their kinks. Some things I'm not going to do, but I feel like if you're really selling it and it's like that's going to make you happy and bring you joy, even though we're not going to be together. I'm going to do it for did you. Did she lay out? So that was the thing. We had any, a conversation. Like, po- yeah. What did she say in the conversation? Like, cause if you're, cause she succeeded. So if you're out there, listener, <laughs> and you want to, pee, you want to be peed on. You're trying to pitch pee. You're pitching, you're pee. pitching pee. Hello. <laughs> you're pee peeing, if you will. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was really, that is funny. Um, um, what, did, what was her argument or what was she saying to you that she was like, she wanted it. She's like, this is what I want. I want you to do it. So then I had questions. I'm like, so have you done this before? She did it once. So I'm like, so did you get peed on in the shower? Because my thing is, if I pee on you, I want it to be clean afterwards. Yeah. So it's like, did you get peed on in the shower? Did you get peed on carpet? Because who's cleaning the car? I'm not cleaning it. <laughs> after I'm doing what you asked me to do. So are you getting pissed on and cleaning piss? That is bad. Very, very I don't degrading. want to disrespect yeah, yeah, yeah. you that much. Yeah. <laughs> so can we do the shower? Do you come a second time as you're Cloroxing the carpet? <laughs> right. So we got down to it. It's like, okay, we can do it in the shower. So in my head, I imagine how it could be. I'm like, okay, you'll be far enough that the piss will like travel. Like the piss would like go over, like it'd like, cause you you have to put. Like you're doing it. like an arc on her. Are yes. you, wait, wait, but how? No, cause I'm thinking. <laughs> so this was my setup in my you're head. You're strong, dude. So yeah, if you're, if you're paraboloing, cause you, you have to position it. I wanted to. I don't want to just piss like direct piss. I didn't want it to. You didn't want to stand over her. No, I wanted her to be far enough that I was all the way against the shower, and then they would like travel. <laughs> So I will have to position. You were like, if we're gonna do this, it needs to be beautiful. Yes, I wanted a beautiful piss story. I didn't just want because this piss is already bad. So I'm like, how can we dress up piss? So I'm like, okay, I'll get really drunk because I don't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it for you. And also, you need the power. Yes, you need liquid so that you can mm. yes get piss the out. Yeah, so I had to drink water for like three days because you want you want the cleanest piss you can get because I'm going to have Hennessy the day of. So I need to mix it that is clean. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I got this. That I can do this. so thoughtful. 
Yes. So I this was like, would make me come. Just being like, she thought about it so much. <laughs> the prep. The, the, the handsome prep. It. The prep. So I'm like, okay, how I see it, it'll just like, it'll sprinkle on her. Like, it'll just be pissed and you'll like enjoy it. It did not go that way. <laughs> she was closer than I expected. I'm like, I, I didn't think well, it, it is would a, be this close. It was a shower. It was a shower, but she was like direct. Yeah. Like, so when I'm trying to piss, my piss even felt bad about it. It didn't come out at first because it was just like, <laughs> we're not on a toilet seat. Why are we pissing on a person? And she's just like, do it. I'm like, okay. So I did it. And she started swallowing the piss. And I was just like, this oh. is why I didn't want to do this. This is bad. Okay. And if you're into that, <laughs> we see you and we love you and our visceral reaction. <laughs> I wish I had the soundboard. <laughs> Uh, because this is very Christmas time. Christmas time is here. Look, if you like it, we see you, we love you, whatever you're into, we don't yuck your yum. But if pee hit my face, my mouth, I, I, it's just not for me. I understand. And it would be I feel hard. like a Republican right now. I'm like, I gotta be so woke. I pretend I want to drink piss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't. <laughs> you know, it's Ooh. true. It's like, there have been times on the podcast where just because I don't like something or I'm not interested, people are like, oh, this is kink shamey. Like, uh, we are allowed to like what we like. And I'm obviously genuinely not being kink shamey. Like, it's. Yeah, do it's your thing. It's great. Like, do consensually whatever. Like, that. Yeah, exactly. Rocks. Go come. Like, come. But the thought of tasting pee does make me right. want to throw and up. that is for me as well and I don't think that I could watch someone do it that was gonna be my question to you too because is, that kind of makes me sick to imagine yeah yeah but do you ever have because sometimes like there'll be something where I'm like I'm not not in a fucked up way but just like I'm, this isn't my thing but my partner is really turned on by it and seeing them get turned on by it turns me on yes was she so turned on by the piss that you were like even though I'm not into piss this is kind of hot or did the piss it went out? It never turned me on. When it did it, it actually, it turned me off. I was just like, this is why I didn't want to do it. Right. Because it was the fear of everything that could happen. I didn't think you would. And why honestly, you? it really kind of you to go and give yeah. it a shot. Yeah, I Which did. Is, she just, she's straight into her mouth drinking it. <sighs> she's shaking. She's drinking it and shaking her. And it's swallowing? Just, yes. Oh. And I was just like, you're not even my girlfriend. <laughs> You deserve better, Queen. I'm gonna remove myself out of the shower. Clean yourself up. You deserve better. This is. Oh I feel God. horrible. I feel so bad. That's so brutal. Did you? Ever You're not even my girlfriend. Clean yourself up. Because oh why my did God. you allow? Why did you want this? And she was happy. She was so happy. That, and we and we celebrate her. We celebrate her a sticky, true queen. sticky face <laughs> and her full belly. <laughs> Very well, hydrated when she pisses from all it the out, water. It's like double piss. I it's want like a... double filtered piss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the thought of it. Love whatever you love. Just make yep. sure. I guess the other person's happy. I don't know. Honestly, the farthest that, that I've ever gone with degradation is, well, I guess this isn't totally true because I think it means, I guess degradation is sort of a broad term. Mm. You know what I mean? So, but something that put me, let me say, something that put me outside of my comfort zone and some people are gonna be like, Ashley, you're so like, you're, you're actually such a little baby. I do not like name calling. Like calling someone a slut? Yeah, I don't. Hilarious. I don't like it. This is such a fun <laughs> theme of the podcast that it's like, you've been with so many women. We're like, oh, Maddie's a gay virgin. But then we talk about any kind of kink stuff. And I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm like, like the big, like I beginner kink stuff. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, 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 dude, because I'm, um, slut city. Yeah. Well, <laughs> congrats mayor of slut city. <laughs> Not all the time. Slut, slut city TV. population, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying it's so funny. Cause you're like, anyway, sorry. I cut you Cause off. I'm like intimacy. So I definitely like the power thing. Like I don't mind, you know, like saying other things that are sort of like, okay, I'm topping you. Mm -hmm. What are you, I'm saying these things to you, but like, that specifically does not make me feel good because I just, I'm like, you're not a slut. <laughs> you, you empower yourself, boo boo, sleep with whoever you want. I will say a whore doesn't do it for me. I don't like whore either, yeah. But slut, I don't need it every time, but, but, but we, you can sneak but it in once in a while if you like. But I experimented with it. I, wait, I'm, I'm with that word the way you are about pronouns. I'm like, 
You can call me a slut if you feel like I'm being a slut right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to, like, tell you to call me a slut, but if you see me and you're like, wow, slut, I don't, let me know. I don't identify. <laughs> I don't identify as a slut. But sometimes but, I'm like, giving you, off slut. Yeah, but if it's, <laughs> if it's giving slut, it's giving slut. <laughs> um, wow, this is such a great little trio. Also, I think you're in a great mood. I am in a great mood. Yeah, you must feel really good about going viral. Thanks. Because I like the level of confidence that you're bringing to the to the pod today. Oh, thanks. Sorry, this is Hell very yeah. Gay. That's beautiful. No, that made such really sweet. Um, do you want to grab Maddie's tit? Sure, I'll grab it. <laughs> tell us the sign. I'll grab it. I'll see what it's about. They look healthy. I can. <laughs> I feel you. like I can. They're definitely healthy. Sorry, I'm just checking wait, the time. And I want to know. Wait, so what ended up happening with the rest of the pee? Yeah, story? did you ever see her again? Oh, and was that the last pee? That was the last pee. I, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't pee anymore. I seen her after that, but it's just as much as I enjoy the sex, because other than that, the sex was disgustingly nasty and beautiful how it should have been, despite the piss. But um, I couldn't take her serious. <laughs> I won't lie. I just feel like you let me. You wanted it's me like to- looking at Mitch McConnell after he froze. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can't. Like, if we you was in a shouldn't. relationship, sure. But you just let a single person pee on you. I don't know if I want you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> I just, I, well, I, it probably wouldn't have worked out, honestly, if she really wants the pee. That's what I'm she saying. She needs to be with someone who, who who's like, I peed on you. Whether or not it's, like, my thing, I love doing it because it made you feel good. Yes. And it's something I want to continue doing. Okay, yes. we'll say this. If you have a pee kink and you're being like, I'm being judged right now, it, I will say, to their credit, probably the only sex that you never get a UTI from. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is so kind good. of a nice perk. That's so That's good. hilarious. <laughs> no, but I mean like, <laughs> it's like an evolutionary trait to be like, uh, and then the hottest thing would be if you peed on me and then wipe front to back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's, I'm not, I'm, I don't say it on the podcast, but there is a thing that Jen and I do that we don't talk about on the podcast. Well, yeah, and then you said this the other day and I was like, what is this thing? Will you tell me off the air? No. Oh my God, is it kinky? <laughs> it's a little kinky. Oh, I wanna know so bad. I don't think you're gonna think it's that kinky, but it's our thing that we do. No, that's really cute that you're like, we have a thing that we don't, t I love that. Yeah, we, we talk about a lot of things on here, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me have my <laughs> one thing. I respect that, I respect that. And if, I was with someone who didn't want to do it, a la maybe pee pee. Yeah, I'd be bum I'd be bummed. Like it's nice to have someone. Yes. Oh, and it's into I your also, same kinks. I yeah. also recognize that if I met someone who didn't want to do it, they don't have to do that. Like that is not for me to tell them. And I don't feel judged. You know what I yeah. mean? It's just not for yeah. you. That's okay. It's okay that it's I wish I could say more, but Jen and I have a really nice relationship and I would like to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> would you say you're a kinky person in general? If that's not too personal? Um, no, it's not too personal. I think I am a kinky person. I just think that I'm also caring. So mm. I feel like what a woman is into that's going to make her come, I'll do it even if I don't like it just to see. But if I just don't like I'm not doing it again. Right, right, right. Mm. But I'll, I'll do it one You'll time. You'll try anything see. once. Yeah, I'll try. I, hey, we have to make you happy. We have to please you how you want to be pleased. I agree. If someone asked me to pee on them, I think I would do it. It took me a few months. Like, I really had to process this. <laughs> and then I did it, and I'm like, whoo, glad therapy. it's done. Not doing it again. And that's not, if you like to be peed on, great. I'm just saying Get your girlfriend to pee on you. Don't just let strangers pee on you. I just think it's a little rude. <laughs> <laughs> but if you love it, hey, more piss for you. I love that you're projecting the rudeness too. Yeah. Because for that, it feels rude to you because you're like, you. Sh yeah, it's just, it's very funny. <laughs> As a queen, you deserve better. Like I have to look at you and pee. Uh, my dick is not just hanging and it's like, oh, I can pee and turn my head and I have to form it, <laughs> aim it, <laughs> figure out where I want it to land. It's a lot. It's just a lot of planning. You're having to do like the angry birds, pull back yeah. the thing. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Let me do this. Like it's, it's a form. <laughs> um, Wait, can I ask? Yeah. Again, if this is too personal, we can totally cut it. We You're don't on need... fire. But do you ever, are you, will you strap a girl? 
I strapped. I strapped the women. They love I, to be I strapped. Actually Let's feel, go. I, I had a feeling but, that you were. A yeah. Would you ever? Do you think you'd be more into the P stuff if you had a strap? That would like funnel it out. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the idea of it would be fun, but it's still pee. <laughs> the technology would be appealing to you. Yeah. From maybe, a scientific maybe, sort of yeah. perspective, mm. but maybe not the pee itself. Yeah, not the pee itself, but probably the idea that it could shoot. Yeah. I think if I yeah, I think Everyone God didn't give me a gun. penis, but um <laughs> It's summer. I think I would be a shooter if I had a penis. I absolutely <laughs> would be a shooter. Strong shooter. Most shooters do have a penis. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dude, strapping, wah, let's wah, go. Wah, yeah, no, rocks. no, definitely. I feel like it's definitely uh, a spot that needs to be hit, so the strap, definitely. Listener, cozy up in style this fall with the unmatched comfort of MeUndies. MeUndies has the softest, most breathable underwear and loungewear that I've ever experienced. And whether you're on the grind during the work week or posted up on the couch Watching Love Island like I am with Jen, Me Undies is here to keep you comfy. For me, it's all about breathability, listener. Okay? I'm on the move. All right? You know I'm sweating. I'm up there on stage. I'm on I'm on a flight. I got to have something breathable. And Me Undies fabrics are light and breathable to help you regulate your body temperature so you stay cool and comfy and in my experience quite fresh like a daisy. And if you're not happy with your first pair of MeUndies, it's on them, okay? So there's no risk for you to try it. To get 25% off your first order plus free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash gay. That's MeUndies.com slash gay for 25% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. We have not done a ton of strap on conversation, which is so. Can I use my gay sex time? Can I yield my time to talk about strapping? Mm -hmm. Is that, but I don't want to put you on the no, spot if it's too no, personal. No, no, there's no okay. Do you have one dildo for everybody or just do people. Everyone gets their own. I believe in now, treating queens like they're special. <laughs> <laughs> I think are they bringing? Is it BYOD or is it That's you're picking funny. out a? No, I'm going to get it based on what they're into. Everybody's into different things. What about like a one-time hookup? The one-time hookup, then you're going to get it's a good you're old get faithful. The standard. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get the good old faithful. You're going to it is a good old faithful that's put up. So if it's a one-time hookup, how big do you go for old faithful? Old Faithful is eight and a half with a curve. Jesus Whoa! Yeah, with a curve. You need a curve because the curve is the tapper. Like the, the curve, the curve is taps nice. the spot. Remember when I was gonna throw up from the pee? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a smaller model just in case? I dated this one girl, and she said she wanted like six and a half, so I went and bought a new one. Okay. Yeah. Wow, eight and a half is. Big. Eight and a half is massive. But I like women with big butts, so it's not that bad because when you have a lot of ass, you yeah, you're like, I got a yes, 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 You have to, you have to yes, travel yes, through the they're, ass They're not getting the, the full eight, eight and a half, you said? You're yeah. like, four of this is just commute. Wait, right. can, I, can I ask you a question about the curve? Yes. This, is, this is a pretty funny question. Because the thing with the curve, I understand what it's doing, mm -hmm. but do you rotate it depending on which angle you're going in at because you want it to be, you want it to hit the G spot. Right. Mm. So if you're, if you're fucking from behind, don't you want it to curve kind of downward or does um, it curve? Like what do you guys see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you just have to change your position. Okay. I feel like it's all about angles. Yes, of course. So it's just like, I need to, where, where's the spot that I'm trying to hit because now we need to position you. So then I can position me. Mm -hmm. So then mm. I can aim the curve. Yeah. So it can tap. It's which so much it math. To. Yeah, no, it's a lot of math. It's like I have to sit you here and I have to figure out what you went to, how do you like it, and how is the curve going so to tap what I need to Because I would be rotating the dildo. Probably because it's, it's, it's funny. It's just funny to me to be like, okay, well. Have you ever strapped someone? One time. Really? Well, how did that go? Twice. What was it? Was well, it fun? She brought hers over. Mm. Oh, this girl. I love this. She was so fun. Did she strap you? Yeah. No way, really? Yeah, we talked about this on an episode. I should occasionally bring back an episode <laughs> from the past because A, it would be a lot less pressure on me. 
and B, there's some of these stories are really funny. I've never heard this. I would have thought you would have been like, I'm never getting no, strapped. No, like you, anything once. Okay. I think poop is probably where I draw the line. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, yeah. But otherwise, anything once. So poop, ass eaten too, or just poop? No, I'll eat ass. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, but she brought it over and we tried it on each other. Whoa. So it was hers. It was pr- it was pretty it was pretty big. <laughs> I don't know if it was eight and a half inches, but did it feel good getting strapped? Um, I actually preferred it to strapping. Wow, because well, did it have anything where it could vibrate for you or like feel good for you, or were you just like no? Because uh, for me, it it was just nice to have the intimacy with her. Mm-hmm. But when I was strapping, because I can't feel it. I would prefer to use my fingers. Mm. Oh, you mean feel it, just like literally feel what's happening in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to be in there. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, everyone, you know. But that's why it's interesting that even though I knew she couldn't feel it, I still felt the intimacy when mm-hmm. I was receiving. Mm. So, because like she had so much power. Straight sex is crazy. yeah. Hilarious. Men have so much power. Yeah. And they're so big. I know. And it's so <laughs> hot and scary. <laughs> but I, that's part of why I feel like I need to have a really, a pretty intimate, rela- well, that's not true. I've had hookups, but like why intimacy, intimacy, intimacy is so attractive in general. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if it's a guy, it's like, I also need to trust you that you will listen to me if I need to stop. You know what I mean? Like that you're yeah. like, mm-hmm. it's a safety. Intimacy is kind of a safety thing too, where maybe yes. it, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be blase about it, but maybe it's not as much of a thing with women just cause I'm like, I could, I don't, sorry, maybe cut that. I don't know. I don't mean to sound like no, it's, no, no, no. I, no I one's hear, ever in danger, but, no, no, but no, I'm, no. I'm hyper aware of what that. What you with just men. said is the funniest, no offense or anything, most patriarchal <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my entire life. How can I feel like you saved me if you weren't also endangering oh my, my life? Oh my God, so dude. Funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, slam dunking on you right now. That's hilarious. No, I, I just think it's different. <laughs> yeah, I'm into men because I'm into BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> the kinkiest thing I do is have missionary sex with a man. Hilarious. <laughs> no, I, I don't think what you're saying is problematic. I think it's just like, it's just an aspect of sex that you like. And also there are like very tall women out there that listen, I've met some lesbians that I'm like, Oh, you could fuck me up. <laughs> but do you like that? Do you like being, cause I'm very much a switch. I like being domed. I like being like, I'm like, let's try everything. I'm a switch. I like, I like androgyny. I, I'm like, I love just it all being all over the place. The only thing that I would say regarding to the size of a human being that I've ever ap- noticeably appreciated during sex is the feeling of being smushed. To go on. Like like having like boobies or someone's body on you that you're like I am not able to breathe and I'm going to die inside a woman today. <laughs> that is a wonderful experience. <laughs> but I would say besides that specifically, I don't really think about like my relative height and mm. weight and stuff to my part. It's just not something that really I think about a lot. Are you usually going for women who are taller than you, shorter than you, or does it not matter? Um, it don't matter. I like yeah, tall. I, I mean, I like tall because then it's like, okay, so when we have sex, you'll be shorter. But then short is fun because it's like you can be picked up. I don't know. It's, I'm open. As I like as... the idea of someone picking you up. No, she can be picked up. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, just no, no, real no. fast were like, yeah, no. Yeah, they not pick it because they're, they're all so feminine. The women I date are so feminine. I don't even see them like if I was like, here, strap me. I don't even see them being good at it because they're so feminine. I don't think <laughs> that that's what Sometimes they're going to do. Sometimes they're really good though. Like All the girl. ones that I've dated, they're like, no, I don't. You're going to do the work, and that's what you're here for. <laughs> that's so funny. Get to it, make me come. Um, that was great. What, Maddie, do you want? Do you have something for today? Oh, my God. Well, I was really curious about the strap-on conversation, so I'm... Well, it, Hilarious. <laughs> I'm just, like, so enthralled in that. I did not have gay sex this week. No way. I'm sorry, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, no. Do you have any Wednesday spots this week? 
Oh, because we're gonna go to the woods. You wanna go to the I'm woods? I'm gonna be out of town. I'm gonna be in North Carolina. Lame. The least gay place on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the gayest, I don't know. But um I ordered an old film camera. Okay, here's this is here's I, yeah. Do you ever think you're making individual choices and then you look up and you're like, I am a walking stereotype. Yeah. Like yeah. I I was like, I was like, I'm just enjoying my little life. And then I looked up and I was like, oh my God. I'm a she they with Doc Martens in Brooklyn who just bought a film <laughs> camera. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, man? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm so basic. It's it's embarrassing. You're one of the most <laughs> annoying archetypes on the planet. It's really upsetting. Yeah. It's really upsetting. And so I think uh, I need to embark on a journey to remedy that. <laughs> because I look like I'm going to be the most annoying person you've ever met in your life. <laughs> but you're really and I'm not. Like, I'm like... <laughs> Can I ask you a question? It's this, but then my 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 YouTube algorithm is like all Patrice O'Neill, Norm Macdonald. I'm like, I swear to God, dude. I swear <laughs> to God I can hang. I can hang. <laughs> but I have a nose ring and, you know, there's no one doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so no gay sex this week? No, no gay sex this week. It's just kind of sort of coming to terms with uh, who I am on a social level. Uh, no, Maddie's... <laughs> theory well maddie's theory corner i will say this i think i have gotten to the like someone okay someone said to me i was asking a friend about another friend's pronouns and i was like they called this person she and i was like oh my gosh does this person use she she her pronouns i've been calling them they them and they go i don't really think it's that big i don't think it's that deep yeah and i was like whoa because it, I, I feel like there's so much explaining to people who are like, what even are pronouns? That we're like, it's important and here's how it works. But then when you're with people who I'm like, feel safe to be like, I really don't give a shit. That's actually kind of weirdly so much more liberating for me right now. And so I'm kind of really enjoying that. Like, Was that person Paris? <laughs> <laughs> Did this happen roughly 45 no, no, minutes ago? No, no, I know this just happened here too, but it happened, it happened to me the other week with a yeah. friend who's not in comedy. And I was like, oh, I just kind of like, it's kind of fun. I think I felt like, oh, maybe I'm doing a disservice to other people who are queer by being like, I don't care. And they're going to be like, fuck you. We're on this mission to not misgender people. But I really kind of don't care if people call me she or they. And it weirdly is more um, like having like an old guy be like, Oh, sorry, they, I guess. I'm like, I'd so much rather be just a woman in mm -hmm. your eyes than a thing you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And I would much rather be called she and avoid the friction. And if the whole point of me choosing my pronouns is to make me feel comfortable, then like, fuck it. I love when queer people call me they, and if people are not in the loop, call me she, that's great. And it, I feel, it feels very good to be able to admit that yeah. and not feel like it's like, problematic or something kind of reminds me of sometimes i'll see in my comment section like a random straight dude being like this girl is so funny i don't know if i'm allowed to be here <laughs> like i don't Jesus. know if, and what? i want to be like what yeah like the people what does that mean like they like, say don't sorry like i'm not gay I, I'm not a woman. I love this comedian like i think they mean it as like a bit but like it's revealing an insecurity that they're like my gay, not maybe, maybe, wow. maybe not that, but like because the queer community, particularly online, can feel judgmental sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Am I wrong? No, you're right. No, totally. No. It can feel a little bit like there are a lot of rules and don't fuck up or you're a bad person. Yeah. Yes. So when people like that old man you're describing or this literal actual human being or multiple who've come into my comment section and been like, am I allowed to be here? Yes, please. I don't care whether or not you have the language. I don't care. Yeah. Like I can already tell you're cool. Like you're cool to stay. You're like, you're enjoying the comedy. <laughs> I don't care what you fuck up. I'm happy to like help you with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just that to me is so much more valuable for helping people helping the movement or whatever that's where cool shit happens 
is like the in the dialogue across a thing, not already in it. Like, you yes. know, like there's beautiful stuff about already being in a community, but I'm like, I love when that shit happens because I'm like, cool. We're like actually having a conversation about something. There's things about you that I don't understand. There's things about me that yes. you don't understand. And there's and no, like, we're going to fuck up, but like, let's talk about it. There's yeah. no ill will. Or yeah. at least the ill will is from like a lack of understanding as opposed to like hatred. I think there's not a ton. There's some hatred, but like most of it is just like a lack of understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. What in our Discord community? One of the most beautiful things I saw was this cis het guy who taught a someone who was on T how to shave. Oh, that's so cute. In the like his, his beard. And I was like, that is like so cool. That's, That's just really so cool. fucking cool. Yeah. It was nice. Damn, that so rocks. Gay as fuck, the ending of this. <laughs> Very gay. Well, I think we're about at the end. Yeah, that was my that was my, definitely my little sharing corner. I liked this episode. This was a fun. great episode. Did you have a nice time? I had a good time. Very good. great. Anything else you want to say or um, hey, whatever you into, do it. Love and you're yourself. Single. And I'm i I am single, ladies. So, so you know, slide in. Slide in uh, with good intentions. What, um, what are your tour dates? Where are you going? I'm doing D.C., Atlanta, Phoenix, Detroit, Baltimore. Wonderful. Um, yeah, everything's everything's on, on the website, officialparisache.com. Paris is so Instagram, fucking funny. Go to the show. Very funny. Check out her clips. Um, get on my text alert. Uh, we just sold out uh, San Francisco, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and lots of stuff coming up. AshleyGavin.com, Patreon.com for bonus episodes, four bonus episodes a month on here. Maddie, plug your stuff now that you're huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Maddie T. Wiener. I also have a text email alert for when I go on tour. Um, I'm going to be in North Carolina. Sign up for Maddie's text alert, you piece of shit. <laughs> the thing is, this is really not a high paying enterprise, this podcast. It's, we do okay, but touring is really where we're paying our rent, all right? So go and, oh wait, I watch this, I listen to the ads, fuck you! Go to Maddie's <laughs> website, put in your information, you don't even have to buy a ticket, you don't have to commit to buying a ticket, but just let Maddie email you when she's in your city, okay? And then if you don't wanna go, just ignore it. I love you, thank you. That's beautiful. I <laughs> was really good. I'm gonna be in North Carolina. I'll be in Boston. Yeah, and then Check do the out. same for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yelled at them in a while because, yeah, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> feels good. It feels good to yell. <laughs> Listener, did you understand that that yelling was a joke? <laughs> Right in. If you understand that this yelling is a joke, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Crazy how you, wow, that's so nuts. That's so nuts that we all understand that this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, do you want to do a gay thought with me? You got one, Alex? Maybe. Uh, Before you jump into it, Alex, patreon.com slash WHGS to support Alex and the whole team. You get four bonus episodes a month and you can donate as little as a dollar a month. Rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not, I don't even know if it's a gay thought. I was just watching baseball recently and there <laughs> it's was- It's not a gay thought. Well, no, hear me out here. <laughs> there was a vote. It was put out to the to the audience. You could vote on this one guy. It was like it's Anthony Martinez. You could vote on which player was his daddy. I'm and sorry. These are all men. Yeah, this was a live vote. You could, viewers could vote live. Who was oh, who's this, your daddy? Who was this guy's daddy? And it was a set of three players. And which and, one? And what does that mean? And. As someone who's observed that baseball players have the juiciest asses they do. of all sportsmen. Yeah. Um, what did I write? I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you I got think it, I Alex. Here, Alex, I, you got it. You got it. I think at least this basic, this is just a joke idea. You get an insight into my writing. Pro the joke here just said, that's how you know baseball is the last great American sport. It's still just straight up gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Let men on the field be gay. Listen, I know they're trying to take away the rainbow uniform or the rainbow tape 
in hockey for the sticks. I don't know if you heard about this. They're tr- yeah, they're trying to get rid of before a few years ago. They they had like pride. You you weren't. They were mandatory. I think or like a big part of their pride thing. Now they're taking them away. Mm. Now I think you're onto something, Alex. Let the men be gay. Yeah. Let them tap each other on the butt. Yeah. Let them find out whose daddy belongs to which yeah. which baby. Yeah. Let the men be gay without it being gay. That's yeah. what sports were for yeah. originally. Sports, yeah. yeah, sports were to get out there and tackle another man with you out without you having to think about it. Yeah. So what if you get a little hard? It's yeah. natural. Just let him yeah. have that space. Yeah. Thanks, listener.